Hi, this is Warren Buckleitner today looking at World Rescue from Zoo Digital. It's an important app uh, that was funded by UNESCO. You can download it for free. The app gamifies some big topics like deforestation, drought, disease, famine, and other things that might cause a population of people to move from one place to another. Let's take a closer look. This is one of the more difficult uh, activities. It's kind of like Diner Dash, and the idea is that the people are queued up, and you must get them to the right station at the right time. As you can see, there's a little bit of clumsiness, which I'll il illustrate, but at the end of the day, it's a fun idea. The little progress meters fill up the longer the person stands on that little square. Then your uh, goal is to move the person over to the exit. As you can see here, that person is just not moving, so there's obviously either a bug or something is going on. I, I always check things both with the Apple Pencil and my finger to make sure I'm not doing something wrong. And um, there are several instances in the activities and the app that take a little bit of figuring around. Is this a fatal flaw? No, I don't think so. I think children are pretty adept at figuring out these little quirky things. Um, but I do think that it'd be great if this wasn't a problem in the first place. And also, if there might be a little bit of over-the-shoulder uh, tutoring to help out to, so you know, you know, so the app knows if you're struggling and, and uh, can give you that assistance. So I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit and to get to move us along. I successfully complete this level and this is what happens. I get a score. Oh, sorry. Actually, I, did, I didn't successfully complete that level. Um, but I can take, uh, take you back to one of the easier activities here. You can see that you get a little uh, indicator of how hard the activities are. This is another one of the common activities that are, that's throughout the game. And it's kind of a maze and made more fun by the fact you have to uh, miss those birds. And it's easy to die, and I think that might be one of the underlying uh, messages in this uh, this whole app, uh, that people die. It's, this is serious stuff. Um, they do it in a way, you see sort of the person floating there. Um, if you run into the one of the walls or the cactus or you get struck by lightning, you, uh, in this case, there's a bit more strategy. I can go to the, I must go to the waiting station. I think I die, one of these dies, uh, if I don't make it in time. Yeah, this, this person's gonna die. Uh, nope, they live. But then I, the, the person sort of flo floats away. This is not a wimpy game. I mean, it tells you when you lose, and I think that's a, that's a good thing. I think um, it, the, the point of this whole thing activity is to uh, not be too easy and I think kids will respond to that. Now the way that the activities are arranged is sort of a board game style very common in many of the games we review and then you have to unlock the level so you have to master one to unlock the rest. Again very common. This is a free app and so you can easily download it and start moving. Your, your progress is bookmarked automatically for one player. So how does the actual messaging of the, these big issues get through to the, the, to the kids? And that's done through these videos. And they're sort of these cartoon-like good quality illustrations and audio throughout. Uh, it, at the end of the day, for a free app, it's fun and it has some pretty big issues in there that, at the very least, might be good to talk about with children. I'm Warren Buckleitner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.